When I was uh, about 12, 12 years old, I was chubby, I was overweight, uncoordinated, didn't do very well in sports. So instead of being out playing baseball like the rest of the kids, my dad was at home showing me how to make chocolate chip cookies. Fast forward 30 years and Joel Schwader is still reliving those moments with dad in the kitchen. His passion for baking has cooked up some sweet success. Known as the Kuchen Man. It's a dessert that I grew up with and something that I've always longed to want to make. Schwader's delicious treats are attracting sweet tooths around the world. I never dreamt that I'd be doing it full time for a living. It's just absolutely crazy. Schwader began selling his Kukins four years ago this June at the Rapid City Farmer's Market. On his top. dessert now sells at all three Safeways in the Black Hills and family thrift centers throughout Rapid City. During the summer, he delivers Kukins to Mount Rushmore, and in the fall, his specialty will land inside retail Here's giant Sam's Club. We would go nationwide with it if, if it if it goes well. Not to mention he's already shipped to New York City, Alaska, and London. And it's all done with no advertising, just word of mouth. People went crazy for it. People went crazy for it. But perhaps the most astonishing part of his story is that Schwader sprinkles all his cookings with love in this small kitchen, no bigger than 160 square feet, equipped with one oven and two sets of hands. When we get up in the morning, uh, we make uh, 129 rolls that we deliver throughout town. Then uh, we go home, we sleep for two hours. And then we get up and we come out here and we make um, anywhere from 100 to 150 cookins. This 48-year-old has no plans of slowing down anytime soon. He's already baked 26,000 cookins in just four years. And those numbers are only expected to double as the Kuchen Man recently opened a storefront on Facebook. Through it all, Schwader continues to need a way at one piece of advice from the man who started it all. It's a phrase my dad always told me. He always said, if you're going to do anything, keep it simple, stupid, you know, and that's what we do.